I'm the best, so do not test the top of my profession. The master of my chosen field, of that there is no question. Serious, serious profession. Serious, serious profession. now mid-December. In early spring, I distinctly remember requesting a berf bourguignon marinade. Yes, chef. Gratin dauphinoise, yes, chef. eight roast quail, nine commie leaping, and a partridge in a wine stew. Chef! Where the frig are they? Yes, chef. I haven't as many mindless zombies lumbering about since Night of the Living Dead. Karen, I need to talk to you now. I don't know if you've noticed at all, Janice, but I'm just the tiniest bit busy right now. I'm cooking, you see. That's why I've got these funny clothes on. That's what I am. A cook. What you are is a restaurant owner, just like me, and there is a problem. Everton, those fish will go off. Couldn't you put them in the fridge? Yes, sir. <laughs> right away, Mrs. Blackstone. Dennis, I don't want a row in my kitchen. Great. Then get your ass out of it and let's have a row in here. <laughs> Lucinda? Chef. Take charge for a moment, would you? Yes, Chef. I believe my wife wishes to consult me on a managerial matter. <laughs> I'm sorry I gave an order in your kitchen. Okay. Well, don't say it like it isn't okay. But of course it isn't okay. People have died in unspeakable and lingering agony for far less. <laughs> You're my wife, so this time I'll let you off. Once more and I'll be a widower looking up the number of Klaus von Bülow's lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Your kitchen orders are phenomenal. They are not. <laughs> the top one is from a Mrs. Courtney. Ah. I love Mrs. Courtney. Her produce is superb. Under no circumstances am I giving her up. That's for one month's supply of herbs. Janice, whatever it is, it's what it costs, all right? She's a very straight, lovely, very genuine woman. <laughs> the evil, grasping, devious, wart-faced, scrofulous little hag. This is outrageous. Yes? She's taken advantage of me. Yes. She never, ever darkens our doors again. Hi. Good morning, Mrs. Courtney. <laughs> How are we today? I'll handle this. Now, Gareth, there is no need for any unnecessary unpleasantness. Janice, I can be trusted to deal with a supplier. I'm not a child. I shall be firm, but, you know, tactful. OK. I still need to talk to you. Oh, Chef, can I give you the... Tiniest nudge vis a vis your Christmas requirements. <laughs> Mrs. Courtney. Chef. We are not opening for Christmas, and I hereby take your trug for the last time. You see, it just so happens that my boyfriend. What? Do not misunderstand me, Mrs. Courtney. Do not take this the wrong way. Well, no, no. This is personal. I want to be rude. I'm hoping to cause offence. <laughs> I have a lifelong abhorrence of violence inflicted on women, but I'm giving urgent consideration to making an exception in your case. <laughs> I have just seen your bill. It is for the sort of money which rarely changes hands without the aid of a gun and a getaway car. <laughs> there are names at Lloyd's, sitting alone in darkened rooms with loaded revolvers who owe less than this. <laughs> it's a disgrace! You're charging me so much money, you can afford to eat in my restaurant. <laughs> Why don't you just take up drug trafficking and have done? Now, look. It would mean a sharp drop in your income, Grant. <laughs> Chef, you've never complained before. This isn't a bill. This is grievous bodily invoicing. <laughs> just you, Mrs. Courtney. Bring me the best, I said, and I will pay what is fair. Yeah. And you betrayed my trust, and you have done that which I dread most in all the world. What, uh, what's that? You have proved my wife right! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I care nothing for your sorrow. I care only for the sight of your fast-retreating bat 
I never wish to see your grasping, extortionate, avaricious, rapacious, usurious, devious, and deceitful personage ever again. Farewell. One more thing. What? Compliments of the season. <laughs> Janice, so I can't. I just... I'm sorry, you know, I'm just, I'm so tired. I... The spirit is willing. I've got some things I want to talk about. Talk about? It's the middle of the night. It's not the middle of the night. It's half past one. Oh, silly me. <laughs> Lying about to here in bed, wasting my life. <laughs> I haven't got to get up till six. I went to bed, what, ten minutes ago now? I know. Let's get some chums over, crack open a bottle and party till we puke. Gareth, we need to talk. Things are bad. I, I can't, Janice. I, I just can't. I think... I think we're going to have to open for Christmas. Oh, no, we're not. No way are we opening for Christmas. I have to have a break soon. I have to. It's out of the question. Do you understand? <laughs> All right, then. Good night. I mean it. I know. Night, night. I mean, I'm sorry, you know. I don't wish to seem unreasonable or anything. <laughs> it's just that I have to sleep now. Mm. Simply have to. You know. <laughs> All right, so how about our things? <laughs> I know this is your department. Yes. So I suppose I'm partly insulated from the full horror. <laughs> Totally insulated. <laughs> totally, yes. Yes, totally. So, how about our things? Terrible. Terrible. Simply desperate. Night, night. <laughs> no, no, Janice, Janice, come on. Oh, Gareth. I have heard of fortunate women whose husbands will not leave them alone in bed. This is not what's meant by that. This is the worst of both worlds. Please. I need very badly to be in a coma right now. Oh, come on, Janice. Don't be silly. Look, if, if things are desperate, then we must talk them over, obviously. And there's a hell of a lot of planning to be done. What planning? Well, if we're opening for Christmas, we've left things very late. <laughs> I hate seeing ingredients walking about. Unsettling being introduced to your supper while it's still in a condition to respond. <laughs> These are free range, of course. They have coops with on sweets, they eat organic food, they sleep under non allergenic duvets, they take all of evening primrose and worry about their deltoids. This is turkey heaven. <laughs> These birds are the pinnacle. No, they sure cost enough. Are you certain they'll actually taste better? Definitely. In a blind tasting? <laughs> What is this? Oh, that's the bag the turkey came in, Chef. Everton, are there certain headlines you long to read? Eh? Thousands die after eating at Le Chateau Anglais. <laughs> Bring back the news, cry loved ones of deceased diners. No, Chef, it's only there. Are you seeking a career in chemical warfare? <laughs> Deadly bacteria.